we're back at it again and what I'm doing now is going to try to get this piece of carbon made I'm going to try to do it in two pieces I'm not uh, sure it's even going to work with just two pieces but I'm going to attempt to bend it and I know you can bend it but I've never attempted to bend carbon I've never really worked with it that much as I've said in the previous video but I'm going to attempt to make this one piece I'm not put any scallop strip on this just keep this here for a support everything's welded in really good now and I've got the strips on everything going down through there but I'm going to try to make this one piece and then do one piece going all the way down I've got my cardboard template and I'm going to go cut it out and see how it bends so this will be an experiment Well, that worked out pretty good. I really didn't expect to be able to do it and it work, but it did. Now we just gotta drill the holes and get some temporary rivets in there and we're good to go. So you can bend carbon, just use a heat gun. Go very, very slow. So just finishing out today with the carbon progress got this panel both inside panels done and mocked up it's turning out really good i'm actually going to come back and do a little kick up panel right here just to seal this off you can see how i ran this all the way back notched it around the tail light so i'll just do one panel here to kind of hide the light back here so when you look in the car it doesn't look like i didn't finish the job or something but really happy with the way it turned out you can see right here it butted right against there a nice clean seam right here still really excited that i got to bend this thing and it actually worked out so good i better not say it too loud because it might be a lot harder on the other side so we'll see about that but tomorrow probably figure out the other side if well no i can't do that tomorrow because we don't have any scallop strips gotta wait on those to get cut before i can do any more carbon stuff so maybe we'll come to the front and try to get the wheels turning on this turbo kit and see what we got to do here because everybody's commented on this pretty down pipe you know i spent all them hours welding that titanium together it's a lot of hours I like the way it looks, but it might have to change. And that's going to suck, but it is what it is. I want this thing to be functional. And I don't want to build a turbo kit that I'm just going to hate if I ever have to work on the car. Because basically you have to take the whole thing apart just to do anything. So we'll see how it goes. See you tomorrow. So it's officially race car Friday now. And I'm going to try to lay out some of the turbo kit stuff today just kind of going over what's went on this week after having a short conversation with michael bunton who's going to be taking care of the wiring i kind of had a realization that i have forgot a lot of things 
on this car. So I just started at the back, went all the way to the front, got my sticky pad out, and wrote down every single task that I could think of at the moment after having that conversation with him that still needed to be done before the car is basically complete besides the wrap and like the cosmetic stuff so check out this bam look at all them sticky notes so that's kind of overwhelming looking at that but it gives me an idea if i can just pull a sticky note or two off every other day i can still maybe get it done so some things that were done since the last uh, section of the video here, we've got the battery mount installed from Bomb Track. This little billet piece here. So it's tabbed up and installed. We've got a ground strap right here beside of it to the chassis. I have ordered the coil mounts, basically all, every sensor every switch panel the ecu mount for motion race works i got that which i'll show you all that stuff as it as it comes in but got all the wiring stuff besides stuff that button will actually do got the ride height sensor for banner the little laser it goes on the bottom of the frame rail just i bet you i ordered 25 different things this week just little piddly things that i had overlooked and forgotten about so addressing the turbo kit now that's what i said the last section i was going to go to next so here we are you'll notice the downpipe is turned up you know what that means unfortunately we're not going to be able to use this many hours of titanium that i put in which sucks but i kind of I kind of knew after I got the motor back in and started really looking at it that I had probably jumped the gun on that. So that's what happens when your builds drag out for long, long periods of time. Sometimes you get excited and do something and then you come back to it and you've had time to think and you're backtracking a little bit. So the problem is, is that the front end on this car basically comes barely above that intake you can see there's not much height difference here between this and the intake and there's definitely not much room right here see about the width of my four fingers or so between the valve cover and the side of the chassis here so that's the only channel that your header primaries could go through for the original headers i was going to build to go into the merge down there well I'm using two inch primaries and two and two is four. And then you got a little bit of space uh, in between there you need for some wiggle room. Plus you gotta be able to get the valve cover off. Plus I've got my burn down tube exits out the front here. So all this stuff's gotta clear and I've still gotta be able to pull the valve covers off because it's a solid roller motor. So that really sucks because I don't wanna have to take the headers off to do all that. So after thinking about it a lot yesterday, I just at the end of the day, I just kind of stared at it for a few hours, you know, just thinking. And the plan is now we're gonna go outside of the chassis through the control arms and back up to keep the headers and everything down low. So you're not gonna get crazy with the header design. It's gonna look more like a pro mod header where they kind of just go down low to the billet collector. And I'll show you, we got tight radius three inch bins here from Race Parts Solutions, always get stainless and stuff from them. We're gonna be basically doing that with the hot side. Don't have to worry about anything hitting it because you can see the steering stop right there. And the car is sitting at ride height right now. So even if the suspension cycled all the way to full bump, 
it's still not going to hit. So basically going to do that and come through that area, let the collector tie in right behind that and probably put another V-band connection somewhere right in here because if I don't, I won't be able to get this thing out without probably, I might could take the travel limiter loose and take it out, but that might be a headache having to take both of them off, I don't know. So the collector, I'm gonna place it somewhere right in there. The primaries are gonna sweep back and go into it and then it's gonna go through the control arm. Because the bend will go down in the wide spot of the control arm like that, it doesn't matter if the suspension cycles all the way, it's still not gonna hit it because it's going in between that area. I've seen a couple cars do it like this at the track and it's just a it's an option and because this is a chassis car nothing's really in my way i'm gonna go through there and come right up this area here and go over the downpipe and right into the merge and i'm gonna build this side first and then mirror the other side to match it so everything will look symmetrical but in doing that we're going to upgrade this to a five inch instead of a four and a half it's going to come out of the turbo the same way but i've got a, a five inch elbow left over in the back that i only used part of for another build and it's still the full 90 though so i'm going to use it then do some straight five inch on it and do it angled out this area and then a nice flush cut on the top of the hood with a trim ring like a black trim ring or something like that so i wasn't planning to go out the hood but we don't have a choice because i want the car to be easy to work on i want it to be functional i don't want to build something you know that makes everybody say wow and then it makes me say ow that wasn't really a funny joke but you know what I mean. It doesn't matter what somebody else thinks about it if I hate it. Because it's my car, I'm going to have to be working on it. So it's got to be functional. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to get these collectors mocked up. And maybe, maybe have enough time to start running a couple primaries. But we'll see. I've got the stuff ordered from Tycon to finish out the downpipe but because this one is pretty much the same radius the way i've got the pies done i can go ahead and use it for mock-up and then just do the other one whenever i get it or we could just leave it like this look like a titanium tractor trailer stack going down the track what do you think let's get to work pretty good roll this morning and I just worked through lunch it's about mid-afternoon now I'm gonna go to lunch now because the hot side's mocked up you can see we went through the control arms there 
it's back up on the pro jacks now because i had it on the crib blocks and i already tested all the clearance and stuff like that so just taking the wheels off and stuff made it a lot easier for me to hold all this stuff and get it tacked in what sucks is it's going to be about impossible to get this thing out of there but i think i'm going to attempt to take it out of there by taking the turbo off taking the fuel tank out and trying to pull it out of there if i can do that then i'm not going to put any v-band connections in it because i don't really want them in there unless i have to but you can see it's pretty symmetrical looking at it the pipes come in from both sides the same uh, angle the welds are even the same space on both sides which isn't a big deal but just a symmetry characteristic of it see it goes right through that space there this one is kicked back in rotation just a little bit because it goes into the turbine from this side so this whole merge here is stepped you can see how off-centered it is from the crankshaft so it's closer to this side so we had to rotate it to be able to get it uh, flowing down in there like that and because you've got the fuel tank that blocks it there plus the down pipe or up pipe whatever you call it it's going to come from underneath this there's going to be a lot going on so you're not really going to be able to pay attention to this pipe that much coming through the down pipe i would have made this one rotate back a little bit but it had to come straight to clear the down pipe you can see we've got plenty of clearance i've got it off of the crib blocks now and the front wheels off because it made it a heck of a lot easier to mock up you go over here and get our titanium elbow that's going to be the beginning of the up pipe that's the pipe that we're not going to use anymore and here's our titanium five inch kind of scuffed up and i'm gonna bring it back to life but just looking at it right here a reducer is going to go on this to reduce it down to four inch which is what our outlet is on our turbo and that will space it about right there so you can see it comes right under there perfectly and that will be right out the hood diagonally like that so it worked out and i'm super happy because it does look clean having everything tucked in on the bottom as far as the headers they should be pretty straightforward and actually come out a little bit with them you give plenty of room for the plug wires and stuff there's plenty of room to do all kinds of snaking around in there especially on the passenger side the driver side you got the steering shaft to worry about so we'll probably build this side first and make the other side match whatever we can do with that So that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna have time to really do much anything else today. I've gotta run to the parts store and have some hoses made for another project we've got going on. And by the time I go to the bank and grab something to eat and come back, uh, I've got some other stuff going on at home this evening and I ain't gonna be able to stay late. But super happy that the hot side is mocked up because that is a major thing checked off the list. So what I'll do I'll go through and weld all this thing up next, probably get it completely welded and get it back on the car before uh, we do any header mock-up because I don't want it flexing around. I don't want it popping tacks. I don't want it doing any of that while we're mocking up primaries. And furthermore, because it's so long, you know, it's so far away from the turbo, when you're welding it, it could move a little bit so if it's going to move i'd rather it move now before i ever start building header stuff that way uh, i i won't have to uh you know cheat stuff to get it to fit after i weld it up the waste gates i'm thinking i'm going to put this down for hit something with it the waste gates are probably going to come 
right off this section here and dump right on the ground. That's going to work out really good because that's going to get them out of the way. Going to make them easily accessible right here on the side. They're, they'll be able to be symmetrical on both sides. So really happy with it. So that's going to do it for the updates. I know they've been kind of scattered. Oh, one more thing I didn't mention. The uh, panel bond, I did get that stuff put in. You can see underneath there. It seems like I've already mentioned that, but I'm mentioning it again. Got the end glued in there. That stuff sticks and it's as hard as JV Weld. I could pull a dent in the spender from the inside with that stuff. I mean, if you grab them rods and try to move them any, it's moving the metal, that stuff is on there. So good stuff. And the great thing about it is the applicator gun that comes with it. It's a two part mix. So you can put the little plug in there after you're done, screw the thing on, and then you don't have a dried out a canister like you do seam sealer or anything else. So you can keep using it and keep using it until you run out. Because I think that cartridge is like $50. I almost forgot to show you the presents we got from FuelTech today. Got pressure sensor. Now this is FuelTech, but I got it from ATEC because FuelTech's out of stock of all that stuff. ATEC, uh, they stock a lot of FuelTech's inventory, so got it from them. We got our shock travel sensors. These are the zero to eight inch make sure i have plenty of, of mounting uh versatility with those got some uh travel sensor connectors we've got our boost controller solenoids we've got the wideband harness with the wideband uh nano with the readout with the sensor and we've got this sweet little switch panel that they've got this is the five button my car is pretty simple i don't need any kind of crazy stuff just you know start uh you know i don't know what else start maybe headlights you know transmission pump i don't know we'll figure it out but i don't need that many things so i got the five button and that'll work out really good i've got a special little mount coming from maven to put this up on the windshield bar and uh yeah so I've got some more stuff coming, like I said. Stuff ain't got here yet, but all my sensor stuff should be taken care of at this point. I should have everything uh, in place as far as that goes, where I can go ahead and put them where they need to go, uh, mount the boost controller, just different things like that. That way when I take it to Bunton, he's not having to worry about anything. So I also got one last thing. I got a little start button to go on the firewall which just a little cheapy Amazon button, but I'll mount that somewhere in there, kind of inconspicuous. That way, adjusting the uh, rockers or, or valves or whatever, I can uh, I can bump the motor over from the outside of the car. Makes it really convenient. So uh, that's it. Hit the subscribe, describe. I always say describe. Hit the subscribe button and see more updates next week see you guys